the Chinese National Federation of Industries released its annual white paper on Tuesday. It contains business leaders' suggestions for the central government, which include a third bailout program and a retention of nuclear power as an energy option. The CNFI said that amid softening global demand for Taiwan's exports, manufacturers are bracing for hard impact in the second half of the year. Amid a pandemic, the CNFI released its 2020 white paper. It explores 67 issues and the challenges faced by Taiwan's industries. With the rapid shrinking of global demand, the government should be cautious in dealing with the severe impact on Taiwan's manufacturing sector and its job market. The government needs to tend to both public health and economic development. The group describes the U.S.-China tech war in the pandemic as a double typhoon hanging over Taiwan. It says the twin storms will be a test to Taiwan's politics and its economy. From the first bailout to the third, I feel that resources have been spent across many small parts of the problem. I think this approach has weakened the government's relief. The third bailout is still under review at the Legislative Yuan. We hope that its execution will be accelerated and that the money will be spent in a worthwhile way. The group said that if the third bailout is not passed, mass layoffs and closures in the traditional sectors are likely in the second half of the year. In the third and fourth quarters, I think industries will continue to be under a lot of pressure. I've had a visit from the Association of Sewing Machine Manufacturers. They discussed the view from their side. They said that if this drags on much longer, they may not be able to hold out. They'll have to put workers on furlough. They'll have to let them go. We think that 80 billion NT might not be enough. There are some who are asking for a fourth bailout scheme. Besides appealing for a third bailout, the group recommended tax relief for small and medium-sized businesses comparable to those granted last year. The group also asked for enhanced access to corporate financing, as well as the retention of nuclear power as a backup energy source in case of a shortage.